Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing an individual zodiac sign for Sagittarius, a reading for Sagittarius. And I just want to say thank you so much for all the subscribers, new subscribers, existing subscribers, returning subscribers. <laughs> thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate all of you and um, it, your subscriptions show me that you appreciate me too. So without further ado, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirit, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages do we have for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Sagittarius. Spirit, what messages are for Sagittarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sagittarius. All right, that feels good. And current energy, the lovers. With the King of Rods and Heart Space, the Tower with the Nine of Cups and possible outcome, Three of Rods with the Moon. Underlying energy, which you might not be aware of, Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the Eight of Swords. So, <clears throat> Sag, I'm speaking to some Sages who are tired of being stuck. Ready to just be kind to themselves. You know, ready. Ready to be emotionally fulfilled. Tired of feeling stuck. I mean, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords is just, wow. That knight is surrounded by stuck energy. And that knight is not a knight that wants to be stuck. He likes to have flow. He likes to be able to go. You know, he wants, to, when, when he's ready to give that offer, he's ready. But there's some stuck energy here. Um... Current energy, the lovers, and the king of rods. And again, this is kind of that same um, Sagittarian energy that's looking at how to get balance. Like, spiritually sound here. When you have a, a the fiery energy of a, a king of rods with the energy of the lover's card, that balance comes from within. And he is squarely looking at how do I fulfill myself? How do I balance myself? How do I heal you know, th this is this is definitely for some Sages who are sick of being stuck. Heart space. We've got the Tower with the Nine of Cups. So this is ready to break down whatever is in the way of emotional fulfillment. And then when I come over to the possible outcome, it kind of leaves me, there's fear. Fear of the unknown. As this three of rods looks off into the distance, there's unknown. Like, I don't know how. I just, I, I heard that. I don't know how. Sad, you know, you're sitting in a position where you feel stuck and you don't know how to relieve yourself of it. Next card in the underlying energy was the Seven of Cups. You keep chasing pipe dreams, chasing unfulfilling emotional endeavors, you know, random sex, drugs, you know, anything. I mean, you can see the types of things that are in these cups. You know, whimsical, gold, and, you know, money, and, and all these things, and nothing's working. That's because you're not investing in yourself. That's what this underlying energy is asking of you, is to look at the night as yourself, offering yourself that cup. Doing the next right thing, this, this king of rods is looking squarely at wholeness from within. When you are ready because the other energy that's in this um, heart space is busting through indulging 
that next card on the underlying energy, you know, the tower coming down around false and fake indulgence, whether it's random sex or drugs or alcohol or money or just people. It can be people, just, you know, it, your relationship. You could be codependent. This is busting down codependency, recognizing that this fulfillment comes from within. And then if you seek external fulfillment in people, in money, in drugs, in whatever, TV, Facebook, whatever, you know, if you're seeking fulfillment and emotional, you know, a high off of it, it will leave you feeling stuck, you know, and, and simply stopping and doing the opposite thing. If you are one who's addicted, you know, to Facebook, take a break. Quit getting on it. Shut it down for a month. See how you feel. If you're addicted to money, cut your hours back at work. Find another job. You're not going to die. From anything that you decide to do to better yourself on an emotional level, it will not kill you. It is simply fear. That moon card and that three of rods and the possible outcome is the fear. Fear will kill you. Trying to stop yourself from false fear and figure out this emotional fulfillment will not. It will actually extend your life. So living in this perpetual fear of just doing the thing or stopping doing the thing. You know, I can't stop myself from, you know, my addiction to money. That's a hard one. Just stop. I, I mean, I did the most scariest thing and just stopped. I, I quit. I got fired from my job. I was I thought I'd be there for the rest of my life. And I was like, whoa, I did not see that coming. So I just stopped. I stopped paying my bills. I stopped. I didn't know what else to do. I felt like I had been doing everything right and it was in and I wasn't getting anywhere. So I just stopped doing the things that weren't getting me the results I wanted. I didn't know, you know, I'm not saying go that extreme, but I'm saying doing something different, cutting your hours back, finding another job if money is your addiction. Because everything in this world is provided by God and we each have a right to it and you'll be okay. If I can live homelessly behind a church and behind a library and then that was only six months ago. You can manifest yourself wherever you want to go by simply believing and recognizing that you're going to be okay. If I can be homeless, living behind a church and a, and a library, I still ate. I still even smoked tobacco. I may have had to roll my own, smoke 99 cent cigars, but hey, I was able to. I was, I was, I'm still alive. It didn't kill me. Isn't that like the biggest fear of all is death? Actually, no. Death is just another chapter to a wonderful journey. And I am happy to be on my journey. The fear that grips you and keeps you stuck, that will kill you. Stress is the number one killer. Well, actually, it's the number two. They lie about with the number one. Number one is something called like iatric. It's uh, <laughs> the number one killer of Americans is the treatment of diseases. Learn that one. That was a Bruce Lipton um, biology of belief. You can read that book. Amazing man. Anyways, um, I'm going to pull an advice card from the Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors deck by Alex Gray. Spirit, what message or what advice do we have for Sagittarius? Spirit, what advice do we have for Sagittarius? All righty. Oh, yay, it's the one I have a hard time pronouncing all the words in. There it is. I love the artwork, though. All those hands around her. Avalakitsvara. I'm getting better, though. Ammanapadme hum. Oh, hell, the jewel in the lotus. Jewel our own Buddha nature. Lotus our lives. Buddha of active compassion. Batsiva, liberator of all who with mad altruism vows to return to the world of suffering until each and every sentient being is free from samsara, free from dukkha, free from perpetual unsatisfactoriness. In the vow to bring liberation to all beings, the Buddha must inhabit the three realms, the 
Narmanakaya, our outer physical manifest world where Prince Suttartha Gautama Buddha taught, Sambhogakaya, <laughs> no, that's not right, Sambhogakaya, Sambhogakaya, the realm of inner visionary richness, rainbow light, and higher awareness, mirroring a transcendent void that is simultaneously an ocean of boundless compassion, sprouting a thousand arms, the eleven-headed deity with eyes of unobstructed vision in each outstretched palm, reaches to heal and uplift. Duke Dharmakaya is the transcendental ground of being, here a golden field of Buddhas, and the reflections on compassion. And that is exactly what... My biggest suggestion would be for this reading, and the advice from Spirit is compassionately reevaluate what this fear is. Is it is it a real fear, or is it something that's just keeping you stuck? And that compassion's right square in the middle. Having it for yourself will relieve you. That's all I got for you, Sag. See you next time.